In about 90 minutes, a service will be held at the Pennsylvania County Church nearly destroyed when a semi plowed into it overnight. Today, work was done to prevent that damage from getting any worse. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstad shows us how the church and the community responded. Pastor Tim Kaiser spent much of today salvaging what he could, like these two by fours from the debris pile here at the church. The two by fours were nailed together to make a sort of makeshift frame to help hold down the tarp that has been placed on the roof. With the threat of rain, Pastor Kaiser and volunteers hurriedly hammered pieces of broken wood together this morning. I'm grateful. You know, this could have been a lot worse. Stephen Van Ness came to help after getting a call from Kaiser. I work in construction, so I figured I could help. He says based on his experience, there's a lot that will have to be done. Probably replace the rafters, um, put some boards down and stuff. Have to replace shingles. Wednesday morning, the building inspector had not come by to determine if the church will have to be condemned. If it is condemned, Kaiser has a plan. Our goal if this part of the building is condemned is to move to have church in our fellowship hall, which is in the back of the building, that's just a whole separate building. At the scene overnight, Kaiser told me semis have damaged numerous church signs and mailboxes before. He plans to ask VDOT for a guardrail, but if VDOT says no, he may build some sort of barrier on his own. I don't want to create a barrier that's going to hurt someone. You know, that, that's in my thinking as well. A VDOT spokesperson says VDOT is looking into the crash and what could be done. The driver of the semi, 65-year-old Herman Wicker, was injured but is recovering and has been charged with reckless driving. In Pennsylvania County, Coulter Anstad, 10 News, working for you.